So apparently, Yair El Pantera Rodriguez, who co-headlines this weekend's uh, card in Mexico against Ortega, uh, does not like Ilya El Matador Toporia. Uh, he said, I quote, I would love to F him up. I don't want to fight him. I want to F him up. There's a huge difference on that. Just to make that clear, anywhere I see him, I'll F him up. Wow. I mean, prior to Ilya's fight with Alexander Volkanovsky, Yair um, sort of expressed his disdain for El Matador and was saying how Volk's going to embarrass him and his career. Didn't happen. Um, I don't know where this hatred comes from, though. Honestly, at the end of the day, it sounds kind of like bitterness and jealousy on your year's end because, A, Ilya Taporia so far in his career has went way further than Yair has, and he has way less experience, you know, as a fighter and as a UFC fighter in the octagon, and he's already gone so far. I mean, Yair's been in the UFC since, like, what, 2014? He's won an interim title, but he's only won a placeholder belt. He never actually beat the actual champ to become the actual champ himself like uh, Ilya Taporia did. Ilya Taporia beat the man, Volk. Now he is the man and he's got undisputed gold. Um, and he proved Yair Rodriguez wrong. So I don't know. I hate to be the guy who pulls the jealousy card, but I would not be surprised if there's some form of bitterness and jealousy behind this. But also, maybe their personalities just don't click. Maybe Yair Rodriguez just doesn't like Ilya Taporia as a person. Because I know Ilya Taporia. I mean, I like Ilya Taporia. He can be a bit of a hot-headed asshole, though. But, hey, he's a fighter. This is the sport that he's built for, that he's signed up for. And not every fighter is going to be a nice person. Not every fighter is going to be cool-headed. Um, I don't really mind Ilya Taporia being a hothead who beefs with everybody. Um, but yeah, Yair Rodriguez does. And hey, that's on him. But as far as him, quote unquote, fucking uh, Taporia up. Yeah, Yair, that's not going to happen. Whether you see him in the streets or in the octagon. Uh, I think Ilya Taporia destroys Yair Rodriguez. Um, he's so much better than Yair. And he has multiple different ways that he could beat someone like Rodriguez. Um, Rodriguez only has one path to victory. Um, Ilya Taporia has like multiple. Ilya Taporia is a threat to him in the stand-up. He's got better hands. He's got a massive power advantage. I know Yair's got like the flashy striking and kicks and weird elbows and, and angles and the speed. But I'm telling you, man, once Taporia can get past kicking range into boxing range uh he's lighting Yair Rodriguez up Yair Rodriguez's striking defense isn't that good he gets hit a lot in his fights he couldn't take a right hook from Alexander Volkanovsky and that was the end of the fight so if Toporia wants to box his head off he can but combine that now with the takedown threat Ilya Toporia has the threat of the grappling uh, I believe he could take down Yair Rodriguez and smash him on the ground as well. Maybe even submit him or ground and pound TKO him. I mean, I know Yair has shown some improvements from that fight with Frankie Edgar. But come on, man. Seven years later, he runs into the same problem against Volkanovski, um, which was not too long ago. Who's to say that he would not run into another problem like that against Ilya Taporia? who beat Volk. I know MMA math does not always math, but in this fight, in this fight, I think it would. And I, I just think Yair Rodriguez, he's not championship caliber. Yes, he won an interim belt, but look at who he beat to win the interim title. He beat Josh Emmett, a drained Josh Emmett, who had jet lag and a horrible weight cut, where Ilya Taporia beat in my opinion, a better, healthier Josh Emmett. Um, I know Josh Emmett really isn't the win to brag about. I know Emmett, he's a beast. I'm not trying to disrespect Josh Emmett, but I take knocking out Volkanovski for the undisputed title over submitting Josh Emmett for a placeholder interim belt. You know what I'm saying? I just think Yair yeah, Rodriguez, he doesn't beat like the elites of the elites in this division. He already lost to Max Holloway. He lost to Frankie Edgar in the prime of his career. Um, got dominated. 
by Alexander Volkanovsky. And I do think that Taporia is on the level with the Holloways and the Volks of the world, of course, because he's proven that he beat Volkanovsky. He's the champion. So I just think Yair, he's too one-dimensional for a fighter like Ilya Taporia. And I just think it would be a bad night for him. But I like that there's a there's a there's some bad blood there. Um I like that now this potential matchup could be a grudge match and I think the winner of this matchup should fight Ilya Taporia for the belt. Reasons being, especially if Yair wins, reasons being is because I don't want to see Volkanovski get an immediate rematch right away. He's lost two fights in a row by knockout. He deserves a break just for his sake. Um, I do think he does deserve an immediate title shot on his return, but he should take a year off. Um, just settle down. Um, let Yair and Ilya settle their beef. And then another reason, too, is because Max Holloway moved up a division fighting Justin Gaethje. And who knows what Holloway's future looks looks like, you know? Who knows if he's going to fight at featherweight again this year? What if Justin Gaethje destroys him and ruins Max's prime? So, I mean, if Max wasn't moving up and waited it out, that would be the clear next fight. But Max is out of the picture. I say the winner of Ortega Yair is the viable next option, especially if Yair wins. That would be a huge fight. Uh, Spain versus Mexico in Spain. That would sell out a whole arena in Spain. Um, and the fight would be massive given the beef that these two have. Um, but with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, like and subscribe and peace out.